Welcome back guys and we are here with a new deck today and this is a rather spicy one and I've been having a lot of fun with this. This is my Rakdos Reanimator deck and it uses a lot of my favourite cards. It's got a Cathartic Reunions, a Marinette Master, a Combustible Gear Hulk. It's got a lot of my favourite cards. But uh, the general idea with the deck is of course Metalwork Colossus. We try and get it in our graveyard and then it becomes a basically a free artifact sacrifice outlet for for us because you can use the ability in response to its ability so you can basically just sacrifice all your creatures and it'll mean all your artifacts which works really well with Marinette Master because uh, yeah <laughs> so that's generally the theme of the deck we try and get like four or five artifacts out in the field Metal Colossus in our graveyard Marinette Master on the field and then just game they just die in one turn there's nothing they can do really really powerful and really really fun and uh, apart from that you don't even need 5 artifacts in some situations if they've taken damage from Combust or Gear Hulk or uh, Unlicensed Disintegration or even just got beat down like I've had a game where I hit them once with Cultivator Caravan and that just they, they just took like 15 out of the, the triggers but they just died out of nowhere essentially it was really powerful but apart from that the deck is basically a red black control deck except we use a lot of artifacts and discard so it's kind of I'm not going to spend too long on this, but as you can see, we run like four Alchemist Files, which work really well to keep the cities, and then uh, Cathartic Reunion, like discard, and then, like you see, most of the things here do double duty, like Fugger Familiar is an artifact, is also a good stabilizer against aggro, and it draws your card when it dies, which ticks all the boxes. I've been impressed with the vehicles, Culvetta Caravan and Sky Sovereign, because it's actually surprising being able to essentially have like a five or six power haste creature, and it's uh, the, rem the removal, aspect, uh, removal aspect of Sky Sovereign has been really good as well. Generally, a lot of cards in this deck have overperformed. I thought this deck looked terrible, but it's been doing okay. Again, more removal. And then we have these three creatures here, P and Kieran and Cletus. These are kind of my hedges. Uh, instead of running like 10 bombs, like at 6+, plus, I run like, less and run these three at 4, because they kind of pull double duty. They're not the worst things to reanimate, and at the same time, they... P and Kieran, for, for example, contributes to the, the artifact theme. But uh, they also, on turn 4, if you're playing like an aggro deck, it, these things can help you stabilize if they don't if they can't remove them. And uh, that's really powerful. And like, they can just take over the games by themselves. P and Q in particular ticks all the boxes. It's removal, artifacts, and a decent, uh, decent stabilizer, which is all you can really ask for. Languish, because again, we're a control deck. And then we have our reanimate re spells. We have three necromatic summons, which puts plus one plus one counters on our creatures, which is surprisingly good with Marinette Master, by the way. Uh, I had a game where I only had three artifacts, but I uh, put the counters on put the counters on Marinette Master from a necromatic summons, then used the fabricate to put more counters on it, so it became a six power creature. And then I only sacrificed three artifacts, and it was game because <laughs> they'd already taken a bit of chip damage from the read the bones. And then we run Ever After as well, because <laughs> double, double the reanimation, double the fun. And then uh, we have our bombs, Noxious Gear Hulk, sometimes you just need removal, and it's a really good removal spell. Also an artifact, Compassable Gear Hulk. Helps you get in that chip damage, and it's also just a 6-6 first strike, which is really, really good if they can't deal with it. And uh, we run so much high, high cost stuff, Cough Cough, Ever After, and uh, Metal World Classes, etc. That Compassable Gear Hulk can go nuts if they take the damage. But uh, I've only activated it twice, and do you know what I've hit? Land, land, alchemist file, and land, cathartic reunion, fiery, FM, lightning axe. So, this game sucks, basically, but <laughs> we will uh, move on. And uh, the land base, fairly straightforward, just simple split down the middle, all the dual lands, and then two cinder barons, just because it doesn't really slow us down too much, and uh, I like the consistency of getting better mana. And then we have two Inventor's Fairs, which have surprisingly impressed me. Uh, again, like I said, a lot of stuff in this deck impressed me. The tutor effect on this is really good if you like fetch up Noxious Gear Hulk or something because you have to remove something. And the life gain is really good against like, a red deck. Like, you, they, you stabilize on like four life and you're like, great, they just need to find a fire. Eventually, they will find the firecraft and kill me. But uh, if you're drawn, like every turn, you just steadily get more and more out of burn range, and it's really, really tough for them to get back into the game. But I've been having a lot of fun with this deck, I highly recommend it. I'm not sure it's 100% tuned, I would maybe cut the lightning axes and add in 4 galvanic bombardments, but I'm not sure what else I'd cut. But uh, aggro can be an issue with this deck, but we'll uh, see how it goes and maybe this, this, this series of videos will help me help me decide on the uh, 
direction if I want to go more tilted towards aggro or more tilted towards control, etc, etc. But I've been, I, I love this deck. It's uh, quickly became one of my favourites. I've been messing around with a couple of different decks. A Bant, a card draw deck, and a life gain deck. But I mean, this one just, as soon as I made the deck and as soon as I did like full games, I thought, right, I have to, <laughs> have to make a video on this deck. I can't let this go unknown to the general public. But uh, we're playing Bower Power, who's also rank 26. I'm stuck at like rank 27 to 30. I just can't get, I can't get above it. Uh, no. I like the mana, but we don't need it. Ugh, I'm so tempted. No, we, we don't have an artifact. We can't keep. Like, this is just better. Get to go key the city, fill every familiar, discard Metalwork Colossus, and then get in our graveyard, Necromatic Summons, all things look well. Uh, so this is a pretty good draw. We're going to be able to get our Metalwork Colossus in the graveyard. We're going to have four, three, or two, two artifacts out there to start things off with. So, where I mean, we're not in combo range yet, but like I said, things have looked worse. Okay, what would we rummage? We discard metalwork classes and land, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather do that in the key just because I like drawing three cards. And then we should we should find a third land here. Yeah, okay, I'm glad I got rid of the land. <laughs> so we have metalwork classes in the graveyard. Uh, we're not getting too much pressure. I don't like the fact we don't have any removal, so if this guy is a a fast deck, <laughs> we could be in trouble. But, I mean, red-black, he could... He, I mean, he's definitely the artifact aggro deck, which is a bit different from us. But I'm going to get Filigree Familiar out there. If he removes it, it's at least going to draw us a card and uh, gets as close as the Languish or, you know, something like that. Some, I mean, the problem is with this thing is that as soon as it gets artifacts on the field, if you play smart, we can't really deal with it with outside our, outside our languages. But, uh... We're going to be drawing quite a few cards, and I might just reanimate this Metalwork Colossus on turn... On turn 5, just to have a big blocker and pretty much put him on You Need Murder or a Niceness Disintegration range. It looks like he's playing Red Black Vampire Artifacts. We're actually in trouble here if we don't find a language, because that's 6 power face on this next turn. Well, we don't have an artifact anymore, so that doesn't buy us too much time. But I think we have to I think we just have to throw this off anyway. We're in a stage where we need to survive. Which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, yeah, I mean I need to kill this thing now because we, we can't dilly dally, we can't play key the city there. I might even just bring back, you know, I might just even bring back Filigree Familiar because it's a 4-4 body which works really well. It gains its life and if it kills it, it dies. So I might just Necromatic Summons for Filigree Familiar. As crazy as that sounds. I'm actually happy he's running <laughs> Guy Reed Sanitarium. That's going to be really nice for us. Help us get stuff in our graveyard. Like he finds, is he going to wheel his hand? Or is he going to just point three damage to us? Or is he going to wheel Ara? If he wheels, I never get people who like wheel your own, uh, wheel your opponent's hand. It's just asking for trouble. That worked out really well for him. He basically just drew three cards there because they were all terrible. Uh, but I think I am going to go with my Necromatic Summons. Grab, grab Filigree Familiar. I'm not sure if it's the right play, but it's it's what's feeling pretty good to me. Better than anything on his side of the field, and I like the life gain against an aggro deck. And like I said. It's much more utility. If you can't remove it, it holds back this 3-1. If you can remove it, it draws me a card, which gets me a step closer to Languish. Eventually we'll get this key to the city down, and then... Ever After would be a good draw. There's a lot of good draws. We'll get this key to the city down and start drawing cards like that, because we are flooding a bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9 lands in the top 15 isn't too great for us. I'll draw the Obligate. And he has the colorless. Must be nice. This guy's like playing all these running Eldrazi artifacts and vampires. He's just running all the all the things. Good thing I didn't get back my work classes now, actually. <laughs> that would have just been lethal. Uh, but we are down to five life, so it's not exactly peachy for us. Oh, you you beautiful, beautiful card. Uh, unfortunately, we have to make the Thopters here, but they, they match up so well for us as his board. I mean, not the Thopters, the, uh, the, uh, 
servos. Do we attack here? That's a real question. I don't think so. I think we wait one more turn. But uh, we can drain our opponent for four here if we absolutely have to. Uh, second Marinette Master, is that lethal? Four, six, four, eight, twelve, sixteen. So no, it's not quite lethal. If we'd attack there, it would have been lethal. <laughs> but uh, we can't guarantee we're going to draw the second Marinette Master. Unfortunately, it's not an artifact. So we can't chew it up either with the Inventor's Fair. But I'm happy if he's drawn me cards. I, I'm going to start gaining life off Inventor's Fair, which against this kind of deck is going to be relevant, hopefully. Hopefully he doesn't have too much burn. Jesus, we did just flood out massively this game. I uh, don't think we need Cinder Barons at this point. What is he finding card we use? That's actually... Uh, you know, well, I'll trade off a filigree familiar for that if he attacks with it. So I'll draw, I'll draw another card, so that'll be really nice. He's not attacking. Perfect. We're gonna gain some life here. I'm gonna go key, tutor up Noxious Gear Hulk, because I like the life gain, it's another artifact, and we'll be able to cast it next turn. So, as long as he can't kill us this turn, we're gonna probably stabilize and take over the game. Uh, yeah, I think that's I think that might be the right play. I do like the life gain, but Noxious Gear Hulk is basically three life plus a big creature. And I'm probably gonna discard this cathartic reunion. Uh, Cathartic Reunion will like it on turn 2 later on in the game if I've got some extra lands and stuff, but generally I've got so much weird, so many ways to discard for the extra value I keep the city that I don't generally uh, keep them late game. If I have one early, that's good, and uh, like I'm talking early, like turn 2, turn 5. Well, I've got, while I've got cards in my hand, but once I've got a Hellbear, I'll just happily get rid of them. One's down to 2 cards. Maybe him pa maybe pausing out like that's gonna psych him out. Perfect, he didn't attack. Get up a noxious gear hulk, it was the top card of our deck, as expected. <laughs> it always is. And then we're just gonna be able to move that 4-3 and then just hopefully take over the board from there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we can't actually, unfortunately, play at Culver's Caravan first. So we are in a relatively healthy life total. I think I'll start attacking with a 4-4. Try and get him more into burn range and if he wants to double block I'm fine with that. We have plenty of blockers here. Uh, even if he like steals another creature here. The worst thing would be second Eldrazi Obligator. Even if he steals that he'd have 4 attackers, we'd have 4 blockers and we could hopefully survive. Although I will admit the second Eldrazi Devastator would be pretty terrible. This card is really good in the right situation. So let's work it out here. We have 16, 14, 12, 10. So if we can get our opponent at 10 life, he just dies here. And uh, he kind of keeps looting for us. <laughs> Jesus. We're like one bomb off just killing our opponent here, I think. So like, any any of our bomb, top end bombs just win the game on the spot, I think. Okay. Yeah, like, combustible gear hole. Second Marinette Master, so there's, there's plenty of good draws for us. Impetuous Devils, that's actually pretty good for him. Wish I had an Alchemist Belt to stop it. Well, we have to block, so we'll go down to 7. Yeah, no point double blocking it. Guess we get Ping for 1 as well, which is always nice. We're going to make these uh, cultivators for caravans, which are good blockers. I'd rather have the cultivators caravans than the uh, than the cathartic rune at this point. And then uh, we're not going to stop attacking now. We're going to discard key end step if he doesn't activate the uh, if he doesn't activate the guy reach sanitarium. We're going to draw two cards, and then eventually we will draw into something good here. 
now, now uh, the good thing about him getting rid of the Noxious Gear Hook is now a reanimator spell is looking good again. Even if it's only good for one life, it's looking decent. So how much can we do in for? He's on 15. 1, 2, 3. 15, this range for 1. So, 2, 4, 6. So we can do it for 6. Lightning Axe, that's kind of sad. I wonder what he targets here. Yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. I should have activated the Cult Bear's Caravan in response. But I still don't think he can attack. And now we can Lightning Axe if he does have a decent attack here. But he still can't attack. I don't, I don't think I'm playing this right. I should have activated the caravan in response, and then I'd have a 5-5 blocker here. If his, but I mean, his last card can't be anything for one mountain. There's nothing I'm scared of. Especially with the lightning axe now. Uh, okay, them are, them are, these are some crazy attacks. I'll just happily block like that. He just it's gonna take the trade, wow. I'm fine with that. Could have even activated the copter again. <laughs> I forgot to activ activate the Caron twice now, it's pretty embarrassing. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the card like reunion, draw two cards here. But hopefully we draw into I mean we've drawn so much land already, it's pretty much impossible that we Draw two lines off this. Let's tap a red and a black. I hate this, it's so bad with mana. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, I guess I kind of jinxed myself there. Uh. Can we just kill our opponent here? I think it comes down to how many artifacts we have. So we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we can drain for 8. So attack with these two because that leaves us 3 blockers back. So again, we're not going to get blown up by an act of treason. And then uh, our opponent is pretty much dead next turn, I think. And we can just drain our opponent out. Uh, this was kind of a game where we had to we had to make the Marinette Master for the one ones, which is kind of means you're in a bad situation. But as you saw here, the one ones were huge. We traded two one ones for like two three ones, which was fantastic. Uh, I want to check how much land I've drawn here because I have drawn an absurd amount. I feel uh, one one two three four five six seven eight nine. 10, 11, 12. So, I guess it's 12 lands in the top 30 cards. We have we have drawn an absurd amount of cards, so I guess it's not even that bad. But, uh, as long as we don't choke this game away, then we're fine. And I've got a feeling he's just doing that for the, uh, for the card. Oh, no Titan Strength, but well, I'm glad I blocked anyway then. It still dies as well, it's the worst thing for him, and he doesn't get the card from underneath it. And now he's just dead unless that last card's a creature. And no, he's just dead in general, there's nothing he can do. Uh, let's try and let's try and combo him out just to show him what we were trying to do. I'm gonna draw two cards here, we just hope to hit and hope into a Marinette Master. Or a combustible key hulk. Bang. Ever after. The thing is, we're not even bad mana in our opponent because we didn't have lethal. <laughs> so this is uh, this is all, all as well. So how many artifacts do we have? He's on ten. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Exactly. So yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you what the combo is here. So you do this. Sacrifice you two. Drain for two. Then in response, you can activate it again. And then, as you can see, we just keep repeating this until we run out of artifacts. 
and then our opponent is dead and there's nothing they can do about it. So, a lot of triggers, but I mean, this was against aggro, so it's not really about the combo against aggro because uh, it's more about surviving, as you saw, but we did manage to, to pull it off in the end. This is actually unfortunate because <laughs> we have an odd number of artifacts, which means we can't sacrifice this last one. So, uh. Uh, look, I have to hope this <laughs> Marinette Master connects and he doesn't top deck us. <laughs> uh, there's, there's lots of way I had lethal there, but I thought going for the combo would be the, the funnest one. No, we did have lethal, never mind. I did count correctly, apparently. Good. But, uh, Bower Power just got comboed out, exactly. And as you saw, that was the, that was the, the deck against aggro, which was pretty nice. Filigree Familiar did quite a lot there. Inventors Fed did a clockwork win for this deck, you might say. Uh, I like this, I love this deck. I do generally, generally love this deck, and, uh, it's, I don't think our opponents draw, our opponent was playing an interesting deck. I think they were kind of too spread out around the Rakdos ar archetypes. They had Madness, they had Eldrazi, and they had Artifact Theme. So it was just too much, too much, too much bruh. Spread too thin. But it was still a decent deck. I mean, when they, when they throw out two, three ones and kill your creature, it's pretty, pretty terrifying on turn three. But I digress. This should be an easy second win. I might even play a third game with this deck just because I'm absolutely unequivocally in love with this deck. And now we're playing Four Squares, who is uh, infamous among this community. Uh, five lands. I mean, it, I'm a simple man. I see Cathartic Reunion in two lands. I keep. I don't care how ba how bad the rest of the hand is. I'll keep. And our opponent apparently Four Squares apparently had enough. He was like, no, I can't beat I can't beat the legendary Nighthawk two three three. It's just he's. That guy's, that guy's a badass. He's he's one and one in tournament. Who could stop him? Uh, if we draw land off the, you see, I told you, you keep a five land. You always draw land off the top. But I'm actually fine in this case because we had to go like this. I I too like drawing three cards. Unfortunately, if we drew two reanimated spells and no big creatures, but all is not lost. We have a, a key to the city, which if we draw another big creature means we can discard it. Uh, Gonna just draw an extra card here because we're not really under pressure to get this keep the sea out yet because we don't have a bomb. Wow, well, <laughs> I've got a feeling this might just be one of them videos where we all our bombs are in the bottom half of our deck. Uh, opponent is on mono black Westville Abbey. Does he have a creature turn three? Whoa, that's a card I haven't seen. That's just a one one. I'm not not really feeling pressure to remove that thing yet. So I'm just going to get the key to the city down. Might even just draw a card. Uh, discard, discard another land. Uh, although we have discarded quite a lot of land. So we might might be running low if we discard another land. Uh, but I'm probably going to draw the card this turn. But the question is what am I discarding? Well we only need 6 lands really for this deck to be able to cast everything in this deck. So I'm probably going to get rid of the land. Uh, yeah I think it's right to get rid of the land opponent is going to be hitting us with a 1-1 of the time being. But the Cal you know, I'm very tempted to go back to Kaladesh lands just because they are very beautiful. I mean, look at that. That's not my favourite one, but I do love this one. And the, the uh, I can't remember if it's the Plains of the Island, but it's like a it's like a swirly river. I love that one. Uh, Mindrack Demon, okay. The AI plays that second main, which is a questionable decision, as he only like, doesn't get punished for it too badly. But uh, I forgot to discard as well, but all is not lost because we just drew perfectly there. Okay, so we're going to go License Disintegration. So, can we kill our opponent? <laughs> and that, I'm honestly working on the mask right now. So, Marinette Master, Necromatic Summons. 3... 3, 6... N this will be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So, oh, so close. If we draw like one more vial, we will we'll kill them on the spot. So unlucky. <laughs> Three, four, five. Yes, yeah, so there's no point actually 
Yeah, I guess. I guess it comes into play. Because we could draw an Ever After and another big creature, so maybe we can have to kill. Diagraph class is a problem, but my opponent just hasn't put enough pressure on us for me to really give a shit. But uh, we're hoping for another Marinette Master off the top for the kill. We're not going to draw the card because we don't have mana. I think that might actually be it. <laughs> okay. We are, we are. Yeah, just make it actually just act casual. Just act casual. We planned it this way. We deserve to be here. Uh, I don't think it actually is it, to be fair. So 17, we have 2 artifacts, we have 4 artifacts. That's 16, we're 1 point off, damn it. Uh, and we don't even sacrifice Outlet in hindsight, so I don't know what the fuck I've been thinking. Uh, still gonna put the counters on it because we have Necromatic Summons. So, uh, yeah, we don't have an Outlet. I don't have an Outlet, I don't know why. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I already forgot. But, uh, Points not draw has not been bad, considering. Uh, like, you went what? Liliana's an elite, Mindrack Demon, Digraph Colossus, Liliana. It's pretty much exactly what his deck wants. That's an that's actually a good choice to dead with. <laughs> uh, but we can make a key to the city, make our creature unblockable and start pecking away until we do have lethal. Uh, I might just trade off here. Yeah, I'll kill the definitely kill the Diagraph Colossus. That's an interesting attack. I guess it flips his Liliana, but I mean I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna be able to reanimate P and Kieran Nala. Or even his own or Mind Draft even actually. That could be pretty good. I'll pay two here. Shit, I didn't mean to cast that, I meant to play the land. <laughs> uh, yeah, I meant, I meant to cast it in Neshromatic Summons there. Mm. Nah, we'll keep the Culver's Caravan on defence. But I meant to cast the Necromatic Summons there. The, uh, the card I drew, whatever, kind of screwed me over there. Didn't mean to play the Caravan. We're playing Sloppy, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But we don't have a, an outlet at the minute. But it doesn't matter too much in the end of the day. I might even just trade off. I might even just trade off my Marinette Master and reanimate that. I'm kind of looking for a language at this point, actually. But he doesn't really have too many good attacks because of the caravan. Uh. Wow, he attacks. I'll take that. So I'll kill off you because I don't like zombies. And then, uh, we do have an outlet with P and Kieran, I guess. Let's see if he has anything good in here. Could get back. Mindrack Demon. 6 5 Trample. I mean, a 6 7 Trample. That seems pretty good. That's gotta be better than P and Kieran a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. And it mills us four. Hopefully, we get a metalwork losses in there. Unfortunately, we don't. But at least it makes our other reanimate spells better. Uh, do we want to attack Key of the City? Or get him down to 10? That might, that might be good. We can crew the caravan. This is kind of risky. No, it's not risky because we have the Alchemist Vial. If he does have a removal spell for them, Mind Rack Demon. And we're basically putting our opponent dead on board. Or almost dead. Yeah, he's, he's dead on board actually because Alchemist Val drains for 2, 6, and then we attack for 8, and then 10 with this thing, so yeah, we're fine. Priest of the Blood Rite is a flyer, but he does have to jump with the demon, and then that will hit him for 2 again. So. I don't know, I think we're doing okay. We're going to draw two extra cards as well, which is really nice. Whoa, that's an aggressive attack. Guess it makes sense. He's basically got lethal against us, but I'm not too concerned. We 
because we can make the, yeah we just have lethal on board I think yeah. or close to lethal now we'll class this I think they were familiar yeah we just have lethal here so that was a good draw because we drew our sacrifice outlet so you can't be blocked get rid of you then we hit for six and then we sacrifice our artifacts but I think we were fine there anyway because Alchemist Val was good for eight and then we could have just attacked with the Thopter nine yeah and then we would have attacked with the caravan and then no he would have died to this anyway so it doesn't matter All right, let's make him die to that it's funnier we could do the combo again but this is just funnier So yeah, there's nothing funnier than making your opponent die to his own <laughs> his own priest of the blood right trigger. So uh, yeah, bang. <laughs> uh, so that was against mono black zombies, which was actually as bad as mono black zombies sounds on paper. That was a pretty good draw from our opponent. So let's try and get a third game, and I think I misplayed that one bad as well. But I'm just having fun here. I haven't had one of them absurd draws. You saw I could, I could. I was getting very close at one point, but but uh, I was getting very close at one point, but I want to have one. I've had I've had absurd draws with this deck. I've had games where I've been able to. It it all comes down basically to whether you draw Marinette Master plus metalwork classes whether you have an absurd draw like you can as you can see I've been winning when they both haven't showed up in like the top 20 cards but uh you can only have your absurd draws when they do show up mm, I'm gonna keep I don't like this hand too much particularly especially if this guy's too f if he has a one drop I'm in trouble okay he doesn't but uh we have we hit one land in like three draws we can cultivate his caravan we have metalwork classes which we can discard with lightning axe so I am relatively happy with this, how this is going to turn out, I think. If we drew one of our two drops at the top, I think I'd be very happy. Uh, Cathartic Reunion, I think, would be our best draw. Or Alchemist File. Which we have eight of in the deck, so it's not too unreasonable to ask for. No, I meant, I meant me, not my opponent. <laughs> uh, I don't know, maybe this guy's playing a mirror, maybe it's a mirror match. Maybe there's two people in the world playing this deck and uh, we are one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you gotta love magic, you really do. Uh, you really do. Making it look easy. And Necromax summons. Not looking too great here, but I mean, like I said, if this guy's mono red, bring him back a metalwork class as turn 5, and then Mighty's not mono red. Tutelage. Now, this is where things get insane against the Tutelage deck, because he basically fuels our graveyard for us, which means we can. It's all about getting enough artifacts on the field. So we're going to go key this, um, call that his caravan. And basically, at this point, we just wait for him to mill a Marinette Master, which will happen eventually. And then we just get our field full of artifacts and then party on. So the, the key with the mill, from what I found in the mill matchup, is unless he's running counter spells, which he might be here, which is actually kind of disconcerting, but... How much mana do we have? Three, four, five. So we can do both anyway, so try and bait him with this and he'll probably counter it. No he doesn't. Interesting. I'm fine with that. Keep the city. So uh, well now we'll twin bolt. Fine with that. So now we just need to get like enough artifacts on the field where Marinette Master is a one shot. And Necromatic Summons, he's going to give us Spell Mastery as well, so we can make it 6 power, which means we need 4 artifacts on the field. Or we can kill a creature with a License to Summon Integration, or we need 3 artifacts on the field. But uh, that's what it comes down to. Better keep paying attention when he mills. Uh, but eventually, unless Marinette Masters are the last cards in our deck and we don't get a chance to reanimate them, we should be okay. I'm not planning to draw the cards off key, and we're going to be gaining life, which is not relevant at all, I guess, but morally it is. So, we'll try and get counter spells out of his hand. Surprisingly, he didn't have. Okay. So, we, we did the maths, we need four artifacts on the field, or we need 
a uh, we need four artifacts in the field, and we need to get him some chip damage in here. So I probably lightning axe at Jace end step. Discard metal work classes. Might as well get in my graveyard now. So we've got a chip damage in. Now it's just a case of drawing the Marinette Master. To be honest, P and Kieran beat down isn't even that terrible either. Because uh, we can start sacrificing artifacts to throw at his face. What's he targeting here? Yeah, fair enough. That gives me a second P and Kieran, that's going to tilt him to oblivion. <laughs> And I know how that feels. So eight. If we get this hit in here, okay, perfect. He's on eighteen. That means we only need three artifacts on the field, which we conveniently already have. So uh, as soon as we find, uh, as soon as we find, what's it called, Marinette Master, we have lethal with this Necromatic summons. Eventually, it will show. And he must. He clearly doesn't have a sweeper either way because there's no way he's using lightning axe, and he, he pays the mana for a while. So, yeah, I think Mill is a very favourable matchup if I find my reanimator spells. Because, like, if, if, in theory, if he mills them all, then I lose, but I should have activated the caravan as well. But, I'm not really. Like I said, I'm, I'm misplaying this deck horribly, but I'm having fun. Uh, I, it doesn't matter at this point. Uh, we need to find a Marinette Master. Okay, combustible Gear Hole could be a choice to bring back. But no, I'd only bring that one back if we had two reanimator spells, I think. Just in case. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't bring Combustible Gear Hole back unless we had two reanimator spells. I guess I should be drawing cards with. With uh, Key of the City as well. But there's not really too much I want to discard. Disperse. Wow, this guy is running out of fuel, clearly. And typically, both Marinette Masters in the bottom half of my deck. This. And again, I didn't crew my softer, but I guess that works out because he had disperse. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Eventually, we we will hit our creatures unless they are the bottom cards in our deck. Okay, perfect. He plays a creature as well, so we can kill that instead. Uh, perfect. So he's down to nine. What could I crew? Could I, I might I mean I might even just get an Akramax. I'm, no, I'm not going to be greedy. I will eventually. There we go, game over. So I guess we should attack first just to see. Just to see if he has any tricks or anything. It's down to one card in hand, so it has to be a counter spell. We have not seen a single counter of him yet. Macromax summons, Marinette Master. And then uh, game over, because we already have lethal. Like, okay, let's put the counters on. So how much can we hit for here? We would hit, we're going to hit for 6, 12... Why has it got 5 counters on it? Oh yeah, because I'm being an idiot. So we hit for, yeah, I'm just going to kill my opponent. That's not bad mana or them. Bang, bang, dead. So we would hit for 12, 24 there. Not bad. <laughs> So yeah, that is what we call Marinette Master Combo Deck. It is a good deck. It is very fun. I'm having fun playing it, as I'm sure you could tell. But uh, I highly recommend this deck. And uh, yeah, so three wins on that bombshell. I will say thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later.